Back on a Friday, the White Lotus just wrapped season three, and it has sparked an interest in the drug lorazepam. Dr. Iris Gorfinkel joins us now for another roundup of the week's health headlines. Dr. Gorfinkel, let's talk about lorazepam a little bit. It's used to treat anxiety. What more can you tell us about this drug and how it's being depicted on this hit show? Factoid. Deaths from lorazepam have gone up fivefold in the five years up to 2023. Think about that. So it's a great drug. It's a sedative and it works for alcohol withdrawal. But the problem is when it's combined with alcohol or other sedatives, one plus one equals six and down the person goes. And that's a serious problem. So it's a great drug if it's used for short term anxiety. You're going for a surgery. You just can't sleep the odd night. Fine. But actually sedatives don't even put people to sleep. They sedate. And the architecture of sedation is very different. And that's why people, especially over the age of 70, are advised not to take it. It can cause forgetfulness, increase their risk of falls, and increase their risk of fractures. All right, so as a medical professional, are you a little concerned about how this drug is being depicted on the show? Any, any time a drug is mentioned on a popular show, it's an advertisement for that drug. Mm -hmm. it, there's a certain appeal to it. You know, it's an, it's an advertisement. It's like watching the movie stars smoke. So is that a good thing? Damn wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it addictive or no? It is. It's okay. dependence forming and addicting. So any drug that puts a person to sleep tends to do that. The body gets used to it and more is needed over time to achieve the same effect. Hmm. Okay. All right. So definitely concerning. Okay, want to talk about this study saying Ozempic and other weight loss and diabetes drugs could significantly cut your risk of Alzheimer's. Yeah, isn't that exciting? So this is a link. We don't know exactly how it happens, but if a person is losing weight, they're losing inflammatory cells. That's actually what's happening. So we already know that drugs like Ozempic can reduce heart attack risk by about 30%. It can reduce stroke risk. And here we have another feather in the cap. It may just, may reduce dementia risk. And this is in type two diabetics. It's not just in anybody who loses weight. We're talking about type two diabetics who are at higher risk of having dementia. Mm. All right. Well, some uh, interesting uh, news there. Meanwhile, we've talked about measles quite a bit over the last uh, few months. And as measles uh, cases continue to rise right across the country, we are also uh, hearing that there's some growing concern about something called immune amnesia. Just uh, what exactly is that and how concerning is it? What a great question, especially as Ontario has now surpassed 800 cases. That's uh, what another 160 just in the past week. So immune am amnesia. People think of measles as a, as a rash infection. You know, it, it causes cold-like symptoms and then breaks out in this rash. But guess what? That measles virus also, it's a war against our body's immune cells, the cells that produce antibodies. And what we know is that children who have that infection have as much as a 75% reduction in their antibodies for up to two years after they've had that infection. So think about it. It's not just a one and done, you get it over and you're fine. That infection, the, the results of it can last up to two years in children. They're immune compromised as a result and more likely to get other infections. Hmm. Okay, all right, well, the importance of vaccination once again. We're gonna have to leave it there. Thank you, Dr. Iris. Many thanks.